Here we go then, the final of Players' Championship 18, and it is a match between a man who has won more than most in his highly decorated career, so James Wade. He's already won three titles in 2019. Up against this, well, I can't call him a new kid on the block, but Outside. the Portuguese star, Jose de Souza, is certainly no pretender. He's threatened to do something special. He's had good runs recently, Jose both on the floor the and first. on the stage, reaching the quarterfinals on his Euro Tour debut in Copenhagen last weekend. And he finds himself in the final for the first time on the PDC Tour here this afternoon. He has to take on an old hand, an old head, a master of winning darts matches and a master 82. in winning the only previous encounter between the pair and a man that has become accustomed to watching James Wade master the hockey 60. so much that you've coined a phrase for it Dan Dan yep. Dawson joins me to see if James indulges in a bit of wading once again this evening well we saw a, a truly 85. remarkable piece of it from James Wade in the semi-finals against Christoph Ratajski where uh, very much like this match, Wade had to throw second in the game. 100. So he had to get a breaker throw from somewhere. And it was just hold after hold after hold. He was threatening and pushing and not quite getting there. And then one chance came along late in the game, the 11th leg. 60. Shanghai finish. Treble single, double. Thank you very much. And it was so good, Wade thought he'd won the entire game and walked off and then had to be called back to be reminded he had to be the seventh leg, which he promptly did. Yeah, well, Jose de Souza was up against Dimitri Vandenberg around the same time and he completed a, a victory by the same margin. Capitalising on missed darts at double from Vandenberg in a couple of crucial legs in that one, but he just does seem to plug away at a very high standard. He's performing the better of this pair this afternoon. Yeah, certainly when you look at the averages, but we know that James Wade isn't an average man, is he? He is quite happy to win by one, 56. two, three legs, and some legs he'll just let go because he doesn't need to put in the effort. 42. But that just makes things a little bit tricky. Another there for double top for a flying start in his first final for Jose de Souza. What a start to this match. Fireworks from the off, 160 out against the machine who might have to go into overdrive to win this one. Wow. Do we think Jose is nervous? He doesn't look it, does he? He really has been remarkable made that semi-final 140 in Barnsley on the Sunday the last time we had a, a pro tour weekend like this then he had that quarter final run as you said on the European tour and played some sparkling stuff 100. and it's been more of the same today it took 101 average yesterday to beat him from James Wilson he just looks so dangerous yeah I think he's struggling to settle 100. down <laughs> What has he been doing? Because he he played Ali Pali in a prelim in 2012, seven years ago. And then all of a sudden, he, he'd qualified for the Worlds again. He'd gone to Q school, and now he's here doing this. Has he been throwing world-class darts for the last few years back home? He actually lives in Madrid in Spain, I, I understand, even though he's Portuguese. Yeah, he's a concrete worker in Spain, so that's what he's been doing. I mean, I mentioned, I was watching Mensa Sulevich earlier on, and I kind of thought that he's emerging in a similar way. What's happened there from James Wade? Well, he wanted the single, and he's hit the double, which isn't, isn't the worst so bad. Accident. 134. Although he's left himself a, a double that he rarely pays a trip to. James Wade has... Game shot. Very predictable way of finishing off legs. That's not usually in his armour, but when he needs to go somewhere else, he's just as good. Yeah, it was Devin Peterson who was beaten by at the Alley Pally in 2012 in a prelim. Only lost by the odd leg in seven. That must have been an absolute fiesta of counting. There'll be all sorts of weird calculations going on between Six. Big Devin and Jose. 
Yeah, in the end, Devon won the match 4-3 in a best of nine. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, he appeared here this year in a in a marathon match Six against feet. Michael Barnard. Last yeah. year, should I say, this year's world championship. Yeah, that game nearly had the full complement of legs it was possible to have. The last Six match feet. that Michael Barnard has won? I believe it is actually, yeah. And well, no, he may has he won any in the Euro qualifiers, but not actually qualified for any of the European tours. It's a it's a tough year at the minute. Last mm. ranking match that he's won, mm. isn't it? One hundred and thirty four. And D'Souza's fortunes have been entirely different. The emergence of the first Portuguese player with a two card fifty nine in the PDC and he's certainly making great use of it. Well, the, the natural comparison, I think, just because from where in Europe he's from, the fact that he had a, you know, a, a breakthrough by coming through the Iberian qualifier and making the Worlds, you immediately think, oh, it's Cristo Reyes. But the thing is, it took Cristo longer than it's taken Jose to 36. start having impre big impressions in tournaments, making quarters and semis, and now a final, something that Cristo is yet to do. Late. Game shot. To regain the lead, and he is showing no signs of Stage fright in the final. Now, D'Souza, when he played James Wade, it was here in Wigan. It was the only other time they've met. It was the second event of the year. So only D'Souza's second day as a tour card holder. And he played James Wade in the first round. So welcome to the PDC, Jose. And 81. even though he averaged 93, a couple of points higher than James, he got done 6-1. And in every single leg that he lost, he was on a one or two dart checkout. James Six. Wade just doing what James Wade does, keeping his nose in front, nicking leg after leg after leg. But even though it says 6-1, it wasn't exactly a hammering. And you would feel a few months down the line, 96. and especially after producing some of the displays he's had today and beating some of the names, then maybe D'Souza feels that he's in a great position to put that right. We had the names that D'Souza has beaten this afternoon include the runner-up from yesterday, the UK Open champion Nathan Aspinall in round two, a match in which he averaged 101.3. That wasn't even his best performance statistically. The previous round had seen him see off Aaron Monk, 6-3, an average of 106 and a half. Followed that up with wins against Jeffrey Disvan, Conan Whitehead, James Richardson, and then that match against Dimitri Vandenberg in the semi finals. 100. Wade, undoubtedly the biggest name on the list. Will he complete the list with a win? And once again, James Wade ends on double 12. 2 2. A brace of 14 darters for Wadey. Who's averaging 11 points less than his opponent right now? Eight. <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, Wade had a, a key win against Keegan Brown in the middle of the day. Not 93. for James Wade as such, of course. It's resulted in him going on to reach a final. But Keegan Brown, had he won that match, would have moved into the final provisional world match play spot. Now he heads to Prague, 250 pounds 96. behind Kyle Anderson with a, a chasing pack, including Willie O'Connor, Ron Mullenkamp, and Steve West also in contention to knock Anderson out. He's got a, an anxious wait this week now. Vandenberg, had he beaten D'Souza, could have won the tournament and got that position for himself. So those missed starts at Dublin in the semi-final could mean an awful lot more than just switching today's decider for Dimitri Vandenberg. That is 180 number 20 for Jose de Souza this afternoon. And just look at the players who've made finals and won titles on the Pro Tour since we've had the Dark Connect system. Now, there'll be plenty of guys who are not reaching Jose's average of pretty much 99 for the day, and certainly a fair few who've not hit 2180s over the course of the day. One hundred and thirty. Yes, yeah, smart darts from James Wade. Twenty-five would have left him on eighty points. Might not matter. Does things differently, D'Souza. Sometimes intentionally, sometimes not. But he's 87. worked that out right. 
just missed the target and now James Wade has the chance to punish. Looks like a stiletto slipping through a tiny gap in the armour. Game shot. It's what James Wade does time and again. Keeps on holding his throw, wakes for a moment to strike. And you are powerless to stop him. He's 3-2 up here, eight points less than the averages because you know when the big moments come, James Wade is able to deliver. 97. Although this afternoon, for a little change in the trend, James Wade has averaged more than his opponent in every single round. Not by much in most cases. If, if one of them in particular, it was 0.3 against Jordi Mayweather in the second round. 100. That's the James Wade formula, isn't it? Opponent's average plus one equals James Wade's average because he does enough. Yeah, wins against Van der Pass, Jordi Mayweather, the one I mentioned against Keegan Brown, Roby John Rodriguez, Callan Ridds, who's had a, an excellent 60. run today, his first outing on the Players' Championship Tour this year. And then Christoph Ratajski, who was looking to do something that James Wade's already done this year, the weekend double. 140. Well, Wigan and Barnsley, they're the places where dreams are made. Jose de Sousa's chasing his dream of being a top to PDC player, and my word, the last few weeks really have confirmed that he's got the talent to be a force one because that 80. is 180 number 21 of the day for D'Souza but Wade looking to hold his throw 96 can only stand there and hope that D'Souza doesn't break back immediately now well, he's tried the bull route first he's got a little bit lucky there by finding the 20 where's he going now well, he's completely miscounted here. I'm not sure. Uh, did he think it was in the 25? 59. I mean, he asks the match official, but he should have been taking aim at treble 17. And this is something that we've seen several times Game shot. in the fledgling career of Jorge de Souza. And I'm not sure what on earth was going on. But in the end, James Wade has taken advantage and leads 4-2. Yeah, he did it at the weekend in Copenhagen where he's managed to take out 39, going 5, double 16. Stand there, wait around, expecting game shot, and then had to take out double one. Yeah, you've commentated on games in the Pro Tour where there have been all kinds of yeah, nonsense one, going on. One against Martin Schindler where he missed starts to win a leg. Martin Schindler also missed starts to win that leg, and Jose returned to the board and started throwing at treble 20, assuming that the leg 58. was over. Well, may maybe you thought that happened there, mid-visit. Is that good enough for the leg? I'll just go back to treble 20. Who knows? He has had with some of the sums. Maybe it was just a case of he thought, I don't want to embarrass myself by looking like I don't know what I'm doing, so I'll just, you know... Just do anything with confidence. Take the <laughs> risk of throwing for treble 20. But it could cost him. Well, it could cost him, but it's also a pretty simple thing to fix. And if you're a guy who keeps on averaging high 90s and 100 averages, like Jose D'Souza is doing at the minute, if you start fixing that very simple thing, all of a sudden, 85. you become even more dangerous. Look what he's doing, even though he can't count. 85. Well, how's his counting here? <laughs> <laughs> he's having to think. Abacus time. 138. Yeah, he could have tried to fill it up anywhere just to carry on adding chalk marks on the tally board but 100 went for the 18s to try and leave double 18 another one of those would leave double top 52 just little chances like this if he passes them up James Wade might not be particularly merciful 36. Oh. The rare slip from James Wade. Game shot. Punished by D'Souza, who is going to hang on. And in that semi final against Dimitri Vandenberg, he was 4 1 down and found a way to take charge of it. Well, the only person to beat 58. James Wade in a final of anything over the last six tournaments where he's reached the final is Michael Van Gerwen. That was in the final of the Masters at the start of the year. 
100. He's won all his finals on the Pro Tour this year. He, of course, won the European Championship final against Simon Whitlock. He beat Michael Smith, who he absolutely loves playing Michael Smith in the final of the World Series finals. Yeah, and that was after a horror run in finals, wasn't it, from James well, yeah. Wade, where he wasn't winning any finals for a long period of time. Yeah, seven on the spin he'd lost, and it was even more than that. 180. It was 12 of the last 13, but D'Souza continues to put in the big scores, and he is going to put James Wade under pressure because he might well break back here. Other players would have crumbled in this situation. Their first final against a bona fide 45. legend of the modern game. Positive sign to learn lessons from defeat. I know that I would have had him as favourite the last semi-final against Harry Ward and he went on to lose that, but he's come back by reaching that quarter-final in Copenhagen. Only lost that 6-5 to Chris Dorby. 44. Reaching the final here this afternoon and who knows, it might even be a, a £10,000 prize for Jose. There's 72 left, finds a treble 16, so now double 12, James Wade is making his thoughts clear that he's having to Game wait shot. quite a while, but the wait results in the start of the ninth leg as D'Souza has won the last two and tied it up at four apiece. And he is still averaging 11 points more than James Wade, and Wade, he may not know a great deal about Jose de Sousa. Yes, they played once, but it was only a first round game quite a few months ago. James might not even have been aware he'd won his tour card or who he was or anything. He certainly didn't seem Six. to know the dangers of some of the players he faced at the World Championship. One hundred. James Wade loves Blackpool doesn't he he's always said it's his favourite tournament he really enjoys going there it's a tournament that he's won before and this is the best start to the year that he's won ahead of that tournament ever James Wade he's already racked up three titles this would be his fourth he has never won more than four titles in a year James Wade and you have to go back to the early part of his career when he was always the player that won when Phil Taylor didn't 100 won four titles in 08, 09 and 2010 and he could be about to match that tally. And you would think if he does that today, then he would be a near certain to be playing to supersede it this season. Well, certainly. And, and having won those big TV events at the back end of last year, then you'd have to consider him a such a threat at Blackpool. I mean, the, the Premier League campaign was magnificent from him. I was actually surprised that he didn't go on and reach a final. I thought he would win that semi-final the way that he played Rob Cross the week before in Leeds. Yeah, in the end, Rob Cross just too much on the night at the 0-2 as D'Souza, 54 and ball. Just the wrong side of it. So where's he going? Well, James Wade is not a fan of being made to wait. D'Souza is not doing this intentionally. But 1-4-1. For a break of throw, not going to happen. D'Souza has the chance to lead the match for the first time since leg three. 55. Yeah, I mean, D'Souza is needed to take this time to make sure he goes for the right segment of the board. Double 12 is what he wants now. Is that a good guide? 69. Not especially. Does James Wade cash in? Double seven. Game shot. James Wade does cash in. And he might be cashing in a check for 10 grand in a few legs' time. Well, this is tight. Wade three legs away from a fourth title of the year. That is his first maximum. And what a time to produce it straight after breaking. Did the hard work in that 55 check out to break earlier on and then open up that two leg lead. D'Souza's cancelled it out, but the machine has taken out the 86 and then kicked off on throw as a maximum. 140. Looks likely to open up a gap again, but not only would he be two legs in front at this stage, he'd be two legs away from the title. Well, there have been 
100. A couple of legs where Jose has missed darts and then lost that leg. And it has been such a tight contest that 85. they could be the mistakes that deny him becoming the first Portuguese winner of a PDC title. But credit to Wade because when the big moments arrive, the vast majority of times all the way through today, he has stepped up and delivered. Double eight for a 12 darter. 80. Something special required here. Not going to happen right now. Now, James Wade is unfamiliar with this segment, but he's been 95. clinical on the doubles in this match. Another wayward dart at double eight. Game shot. So he finds the target with the second and is on course to collect his fourth title of 2019. Two legs away now, the machine. De Sousa did go two behind in the middle part of the game, but immediately hit back. He has to One hit back here. Does hit back with his fourth maximum of this final. It's 23 for the afternoon. That is an incredible tally. 60. And it's not as if all of his games will be going 6-4, 6-5 either. Four perfect darts. 140. Well, five out of six have put him in a strong position to reduce the arrears to a single leg once again. The next one will become crucial. 100. This is a leg that he has to win to set up the leg that he has to win. 80 scored. So that would leave 101, Jose. Well, 85. OK. Wasn't what he was going for, but the intent was good. 85. <coughs> well, plenty of time on his side. James Word is recharging his battery for a final charge. 64. Well, this would just pressure a little. Only a second maximum of this final from James Wade. But Game De Sousa shot. does not look like a man under pressure. The only time that Jose De Sousa ever looks worried is when he's having to do some sums. Back-to-back -back maximums from the machine, not quite. Could have been in the territory of seeing three on the spin there. I believe Mervyn King holds a record with four on the trot. 55. In Las Vegas, where we are heading soon. Plenty of darts coming up on PDC TV Prague this weekend. Let's not forget, of course, that the three titles 60. that James Wade won this year came in the space of nine days. Who's to say he's not going to go on another little run if he picks up the title this afternoon? Well, and indeed the two big TV titles that he won came in consecutive weekends. 100. At the back end of last year, when James Wade hits top form, James Wade stays in top form for a good week or two, doesn't he? And that means that 135. if it all clicks in Blackpool, watch out. Watch out for Wade. And will we be watching him win? Players' Championship 18. As I mentioned, we have 100. Las Vegas coming up. The World Series in Cologne as well. Before the match play. Fifty-seven. 66 choices for Wade, looking at 42. He's left himself 52. You know what that Game means? Shot. It means that James Wade takes a leg and takes himself to the point of being one away from the win. De Souza has no option now but to win every remaining leg in this match. 
59. Michael Smith was beaten 8-2 and then 8-6. Jeffrey Desvan was beaten 8-5. They're the finals that James Wade has won on the Players' Championship Series so far this year. 96. Jose de Sousa has averaged a ton pretty much all the way through this final. 81. And he has not been far away. But there is, there are very few players who've ever played this game who are better than James Wade at striking. 140. Just those crucial moments. And he's done it today. Did it against Ratajski in the semis. He's done it at crucial points in this final against de Sousa. No doubt. He did it against the likes of Callan Rids and Keegan Brown. 59. Yep, the art of darts is not about what is hit, but when it's hit. And James Wade has mastered 100. That particular craft. Although that bit of bad counting has maybe spread into his game from his opponent. And now look at this. Oh. 123. Well, he switched correctly, but then missed the target he was going for. 140. Well, James Wade puts in a ton 40 to leave 25. Is he, is he trolling his opponent? Uh, well, I don't know. He latched on to the fact that he can't count and just thought, look, I'm going to take <laughs> the mick a little bit here. What's happening now? Who knows? <laughs> We're just hitting random numbers with these two guys in a Pro Tour final. 129. Well, five double ten. That's what's going to happen now. As James Wade wins in Wigan and collects a fourth <laughs> title of 2019. A fabulous run for Jose de Sousa, the Portuguese star, the emerging talent who reaches his first PDC final. But James Wade had the knowledge to beat him. The Man who'll head to the match play in good form. The king of match play, perhaps, in world darts. The machine records an 8-5 success against Jose de Souza. Trousers £10,000 and picks up title number four of the year. And we will hear what James Wade thinks about it all now as the machine, your winner, talks to Dan. It, it worked. It worked. Jose, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Well done today. Uh, James, if you'd like to come and stand here, you know the drill by now. One or two. Congratulations, James. That was a hard-fought win in the final. Yeah. And, I mean, there were some real tough games for you over the course of the day, particularly the semi against Christopher Tyski. Yeah, I, I, again, Christopher, I was because like, I really wanted to, because me and him clash a little bit, you know, um, well, a lot. Um, you know, and I, I wanted to give it to him because I thought I'd beat him. And there was something that was like, I went up behind him, I thought, why aren't you shaking my hand? And I tapped him on the side and the chalker went, one more. I was like... <laughs> Oh, no. You, and that's not when you lose those games, so, yeah. Well, that was it, because, I mean, look, you've already won three titles before today. It's not like you hadn't been in that position, but you're just in the zone and yeah, thought yeah, six we, is enough. Is exactly, it's just saying that, I mean, you won a great game, but, you know, it's exactly that one, you know, one six five, and I've gone triple 20, 20 or whatever it was, and I was like, oh, another triple 20. You know, you don't think, because you're, like, you're high on life and you want, you want to, you know, you want to score a lot of, a lot of scores. Well, this is four titles now oh, already yeah. this year, James. This this okay. could yeah. Well, we keep saying it every time you come here and you pick up a title. Mm. It could end up being your best best year of your career with the way you're playing and the success you're having. Could it not? Let's go a long way yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is a long way to go, but I mean, yeah. with the way you're playing, it's a great start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was rubbish on Saturday, you know. Um, lost to a, to a player that was far better than me that probably shouldn't be, but you know, um, no disrespect, you know, he played far better than me as well, Luke. Um, and today, you know. Um, I looked at a picture on my phone, you know, got my son there and my wife said, um, give yourself a kick up the arse and, and get on with today, you know, and, um, and that's what I've done. Well, look, we've got one more tournament next weekend mm -hmm. and then the world match play mm -hmm. is the big one that everyone will have their eyes on. Mm -hmm. I know it's a place you, you yeah. absolutely love playing yeah. and of course a special place for you, isn't it, the Winter yeah, Gardens? Yeah, I'm not playing very well though. That's, that's, a, that's a strange thing, you know, approaching that. I'm not... not you know, I, I was playing well, you know, and all of a sudden now I'm not. So it's, it's quite frustrating. Um, but, you know, hopefully I'm, I'm coming into a bit of form there, you know, and hopefully I'll do a bit of damage. Well, when we have seen you come into form, it's tended to last for, like, a, a good spell. So, I mean, you yeah. picked up three titles in, in a very short space mm -hmm. of time. This mm -hmm. could continue all the way through to Blackpool, couldn't it? Uh, maybe, you never know. Uh, but, I, like I say, I haven't played well, though, today. So that's quite, it's quite ironic, isn't it? You know, you, you don't play so well, but you still play well enough to win. So the, the game of darts is ironic.
Well, uh, this man knows how to win. There's very few better on the planet. Congratulations, Cheers, James. Everybody. It is his fourth Cheers, title of the year. You will see him as one of the seeded players next weekend in Prague in the Czech Republic. Uh, the Bet Victor, sorry, the Bet Fred World Match Play is coming up as well. After that, I'm um, Pro Tour action continues later on in the year. James Wade, your winner. Goodbye.